Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. And since uh, at the time of recording it is a double drop rate for uh, legendaries, why not uh, quickly show you guys uh, something that we have not done yet? It's uh, a Nephilim Rift, so I think I just have to. Uh, no, nope, just go for the obelisk, probably. Here we go. Kill the Nephilim Rift Guardians minions, so. Let's enter this rift, and it's it's another part of uh, Diablo 3 that you can play. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit faster, I think, than just the adventure mode, where you actually have to do five bounties uh, on, on a single map in order to get the, the extra rewards. Uh, that can take some time if, if you're unlucky. I'm here with the Nephilim Rifts. Uh, you have to start by killing minions. Uh, until this this bar over here is completely filled up. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started on that, and then you get like um, a final boss that comes in, uh, where you can uh, can then hopefully get some good loot drops. Um, you the the um, types of mobs that spawn here are pretty random. Uh, this feels like a pretty decent start. I don't actually like these constructs because they do tend to go away. Uh, but these infernal zombies, they're quite okay uh, for me uh, because I'm a melee character. Uh, but I, I saw from someone uh, that there is a small chance that you also get the loot goblins. And that's of course one of those Nephilim rifts that you do want uh, to, to have the chance to do. And actually activate Ignore Pain while we take care of these guys. A couple of archers here. It's not super great, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep uh, keep going over here. Get some more melee characters. That's quite all right. And uh, let's see if, if this increased drop rate, uh, which has been going on for a week now, does materialize or not. Are we going to get any good drops from this? I don't know. Oh, here comes a boss pack. Uh, those guys are decently annoying because they're. Uh, telegraphed attack is pretty powerful, you can knock you back and stuff like that as well. Uh, but uh, with my with my guys helping me over there, it looks like it's it's quite alright. Uh, kill all of this then, it should be this fast. Kill that archer. And there we go, just keep going. And uh, yep, here we go, we're at 12% at the moment. And once we reach 100%, the, the Rift Guardian is going to spawn in. And ooh, another rare pack, I think. No, it's actually a boss. We have to be a little bit careful because I am uh, on cooldowns here. But I do like the Barbarian. It's honestly, it's still pretty much the exact same build that, uh, that I've all, pretty much always been using my Barbarian. Uh, actually, it's just one of the best available and explode there will you so all there is left is, is one dude then you, I can just go main melee attack start doing crits of around a million come on and here we go no legendaries but well they, they won't drop uh, like mana from the sky either so yeah just just keep going uh, if I'm not mistaken these these rare mobs do give you a decent boost like we just here, nothing too special. Let's burn through these guys as well. More melee, that's always nice. Oh, here we go, loot goblin. I, I do want my cooldown. Honestly, they have a lot of hit points, and sometimes it's not that easy uh, to to be able to kill him. So we gotta keep a close eye here on the loot goblin. Oh, don't you go away? Be hitting you. Here we go, 1.2, and that's a bit loot goblins that's nice and uh, well let's let's keep going over here follow this trail see what else we've got available for some killing uh, pretty quiet over here and it's another bridge so hmm. let's quickly grab the chests and then keep going this is all looking quite all right my guys are staying pretty long uh, they're oh I can already go to level 2, might be a little early, uh, but uh, we'll see. 
Uh, that is one thing that, that did happen last time I did a Nephilim Rift. I almost like ran out of mobs and I had to go back. So uh, you do want to kill enough on every level, level you're on. Uh, just to make sure that, that you don't end up in, in real trouble or having to go back. And well, oops, we'll do a quick, uh, quick potion here. And if you're leaving, it's okay. You can resurrect that stuff. That's alright with me. Come on. Well, pretty annoying guys here. Let's hope my cooldowns come down and then I'll uh, be able to have all of the ancients. Oh, they have health link, so I can actually really focus on just one of them. The ones that's in the best position. Still one of the most annoying powers here. Is, uh, these beams. I don't need to, to waste cooldown here anymore, I think. Uh, these two guys come on. And there we go. They are dead as well. Fate Ward, nothing too special, I think. And level up, Paragon level 79. Uh, let's just take a little bit of extra armor, always welcome. And zombies, that's okay. So, let's start doing some AoE. Oh, and here we go, another, uh, another rare uh, spawn. So, that's gonna be another chance here. We are full power, doing full damage. That should be decently weak. Yep, everything dies. And... Whoa! <laughs> that was a demon uh, passing by. So that's all looking pretty empty over here. We are now at 32%. Alright, almost one third of the way. Six and a half minutes. That's, uh, I'd, I'd like it to be a little bit more smooth, you know, maybe have a, a bit more monsters available here. But alright, let's just keep going. Kill the summoner. Alright, good job. And what have we got up here? Zombies and another uh, rare mob. Alright, let's start hitting him. Might want to use Ignore Pain a little bit. Desecrate Waller Vampiric. That won't be a problem. Just keep hitting everything. And those mothers, they can actually summon some more. That's fine by me. A little bit of extra killing. Always welcome. As you can see, my hit points no threat just yet. And I'm playing on the difficulty just below. Uh, what is it? Torment. There we go. Kill that one. Oh, that's actually a minion, so she's pretty powerful too. Alright. We'll just keep going. And they, they try to escape again, so yeah, these these guys are actually a little bit annoying. I'm going to call in some reinforcements so that we can get through this a little bit more quickly. That's that. You're next. Come on. Water Vampiric Minion. Oh, come on, guys, over there, do something. That's better. And that's another one down. Next. Well, it's, it's a decent amount of rare mobs in a short amount of time, so I do like to see that. 45%. Alright. Imp Demons. That's not gonna be too big a deal, I think. that right you are down some of those small fry for me to kill and another one all right here we go arcane enchant vampiric molten i uh, just gotta be a little bit careful for the arcane enchant but and the explosions that's all looking okay come on just keep going here I do want to get out. Uh, Alright, final one. There we go. Pretty easily. I think I'm, I'm almost ready uh, for torments. Uh, I, I would like to get like full legendaries first, so bracers and chests. 
are definitely two pieces that I still want to um, to get legendaries for before I, I try my hand on torment. That's just the OCD in me, obsessive compulsive disorder, a little bit. I won't feel ready unless I have full legendaries. So you die. That's okay. You die as well. What's all of this? And we are at 55%. Well, I hope that there's some more mobs here. Well, there are, so that's okay. And let's uh, use one of my favorite pieces here. My defense of the ancients is ready anyway, so let's go. Pull them up here, and there we go. It's gonna be a nice little boost. You guys, very quickly. Let's get rid of that summoner, come on. Good. And oh, a little bit of lag. It must be like a big group or something somewhere. Okay, another boss. That's gonna be more. There we go. That's gonna be more challenging. And, uh oh. I don't want to get too much into that. Oh, Jesus. Plate Frozen Jailer Extra Health. That's not gonna be fun. Let's see if I can take care of the yellow one first then. To uh, avoid. Alright, that one is gone. That's good. I'm healed. Let's take care of that one. Come on, let me out. Uh, keep going. Oof, just at the end, but uh, I'm out of most of the trouble. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit more challenging. You can have this happen in a, a Nephilim Rift, where you come across... Oh, Jesus, come on, let me out. Uh, where you can come across uh, like a boss and a rare spawn close to one another. I'm not gonna kill that one. Down, down. I need the help. Okay, somewhat okay. Let's move up here. And here's some more stuff. Yeah, this is this is filling up the meter quite nicely. So that's that's at least some good news. Come on, let me out here. Call in some reinforcements. Get some more pain going. You guys are staying over there. Come on, oh, let me there. Jesus. Yeah, super annoying, uh, <laughs> super annoying rare, rare spawn this one, but I do want to complete it. Because if I can handle pretty much all of them, uh, at this difficulty level, that does mean that I'm, I'm slowly starting to be ready for a higher difficulty. Now I can be immune to that, and I'm just gonna die pretty quickly, good. No, you're not. You're not, I'm not letting you go away. I worked hard enough here. Die. And there we go. Well, still no legendary drops. 92%. Okay. Let's get the rest of what's available here. Alright. Next. And two. Get burned as well and dead. Okay, let's go up here. We're almost there, 96%. Some uh, someone should spawn in here soon. Let's go up here. Nope, gonna have to take a left. Well, those three guys, that's not worth it. Let's go. And well, the background is pretty nice here. I haven't under attacked by the demons. A couple more zombies. And ooh, here we go, good. Boss mob. A little bit of reinforcements. Does he have extra health again? Oh man, I'm gonna have to shoot through even more here. And he's got a pretty annoying power, so yeah, let's let's try to take care of him. Oh, and here is another one. Interesting. Not ready yet. Right, that's more pain back on. And now we're gonna get a boss spawn here too. <laughs> okay, interesting. 
Uh, you're going down first, bro. That's one down. Next up comes... Oh, Mighty Weapon. Let's pick that up right away. He's uh, down to half health. So yeah, this, this is the Nephilim Rifts. Pretty cool stuff, honestly. Um, but this is a situation you can end up in if you're not careful. Having to deal with uh, several several rare mobs and then still having to deal with the boss after that. So here is someone called the Binder. And uh, this is random from all the different bosses uh, that you can encounter. I wouldn't really want to um, come across a Maltail in this specific situation. But yeah, let's get a couple of these minions here too. Grab a little bit more. Because most of my survivability does come from killing uh, enemies. I get like, I don't know, maybe 10,000 hit points or something like that after a killing blow. So that's pretty handy. Okay, everything under control, so all of the Asians will be up. And well, we'll, we'll, we're uh, still looking at close like 20 minutes uh, for this. Just we'll some damage from time to time too. Let's get some big hits in here. And when the little guys are spawning. I do try to always stand right on top of the mob, that way she gets like extra fire damage from my boots. boots. That's good, here we go, going down pretty well. Right, good. You guys die as well. And we get... Ooh, Forgotten Soul. Well, okay, it's... Uh, at least it's legendary. And uh, let's, let's quickly go back. You, you could do the rest of this, but honestly the boss is, is the extra reward here. So let's quickly go back and check it out. So yeah, here we go. Legendary crafting material. Not bad. Let's have a look at this mighty weapon then. Um, Bulkato's Warrior Blood. Almost 2000 DPS. Um, holy damage, 651 critical hit damage, increased by 32%, that's not bad, plus maximum fury and plus um, experience, if I could change that, this could become uh, a good weapon, unfortunately, I do think if I combine this with like, probably one of the better ones, it's going to be, of my one-handed, it's going to be this one, so if I, um, let me see here, Maybe first I'll get rid of you, of, uh, of this small stuff. But yeah, two, uh, two legendaries, or at least equivalent to that, drops. I think that's pretty good. Anything special here? No, 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 and no. And then here, uh, this and that. Now I have 367,000. And with this I have 245, so yeah, it's, it's probably never going to really be much better than, than the Grandfather. But honestly, that's a pretty nice bonus, plus 32% increased critical hit damage. Um, still, it's probably going to go into, um, into materials, which I have over here. So, four Forgotten Souls as well, used in the enchanting. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Quick look at... A Nephilim Rift. Uh, it's it's pretty fun. 20 minutes or so. Uh, if you're a little bit better in gear and stuff, you can probably do it more quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, you can get some nice rewards out of that. In fact, I just got two legendaries, legendary drops at least. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.